Okay, so in this video, let us discuss a easy problem which is based on sets of pairs. Um, basically, in STL, we have set, pair, vector, vector of pairs, sets of pairs, etc. So, this is one application of that. Uh, it's a very straightforward problem, but for beginners who you know don't know how to use STL, it will be a little time consuming. Although the constraints are not so you know uh, tough, they are very linear, uh, lenient on it. But still, you will learn something new. Today, you will learn sets of pairs. Pair is nothing but you know. Uh, a combination of two values which are literally paired together. For example, over here, this word is paired with this word. Let us first read the problem. Indian summer is such a beautiful time of the year. A girl named Aliona is walking in the forest and picking a bouquet from fallen leaves. Aliona is very choos choosy. She doesn't take a leaf if it matches the color and species of the tree of one of the leaves she has already picked. Find out how many leaves she has picked. So input goes like this. Each line, there will be first of all n lines. And each line will have uh, the species of the tree, which is a string and color of the tree which is also a string and if you collect any leaf which shares the same values of species and color that means you have not collected a unique leaf they are asking you to find how many leaves aliona has picked but indirectly they want you to find how many unique leaves she has we can see over here in this example, there are four unique leaves. One is this, birch yellow, maple red, maple yellow, maple green. Birch yellow occurs twice. So uniqueness is one. So we have to print how many unique leaves are there. It is very simple problem. Let us first of all pair the tree and color. Let us pair and then put it in a set. When we store it in a set, what is set used for? Set is used for finding all the unique values, right? So it will find all unique pairs and it will return how many unique pairs are there. So directly we print the size of the set. So input n, let us make a set of pairs of type string. Let us take the input, input two strings. This S1 represents uh, species of the tree and S2 represents species of, uh, sorry, color of the tree. Let us insert. How do we uh, make a pair? We can directly use the make pair function. This will pair S1 and S2 and we will store this pair in the set. And when we print the size of the set, we shall get the answer. That is how many unique leaves are present. I have already submitted this as you can see here and it is the correct solution. So this was the application of set of pairs. Like this only I will make small small videos for beginners or people who don't know how to still use STL and you will become more and more clear on how to properly use STL. There are many other things like vector of pairs, vector of vectors, vector pair in that pairing a string and an int and all other kinds of things. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Bye.